Hey guys, it's Alyssa. I'm coming to you with a haul video today. Jack's behind me there playing with a tennis ball, so it's going to get noisy in here. Uh, hopefully not too noisy. But, um, yeah, I went out to a rummage sale this morning. This is one of the few ones that happens in the summer. They actually build this one as a church-wide yard sale, but as far as I can tell, there's no difference from an ordinary rummage sale. Well, the one main difference is that the sale had a start time of 8 o'clock. I got there at 7.45 and just walked right in, so they weren't like, you know, sticking to the rule of, you know, we're not going to open the doors till 8. That's no big deal. I don't think I really missed out by not getting there, you know, earlier. I'm glad I did get there at 7.45 and not at 8 o'clock, but um, I usually try to get there a few minutes early anyway, just so I can get online and find a parking spot and things like that. Anyway, I did have an item that I wanted to get and didn't get at this sale. They had it into, broken it off into some different sections. I had gone through the toy and game section and I was looking across the way, just a few feet away, um, to where they had some of the holiday stuff. They actually had a whole Halloween section and I could see from a distance a costume, a vintage children's Halloween costume in the box. It was Shirt Tails. For those of you that grew up in the 80s, you probably remember Shirt Tails. Anyway, it was a Shirt Tails costume. I think it was the Panda Bear, which was the girl, in the box. And uh, not new, I'm sure it had been worn, but it was in pretty nice condition. These are one of the cheesy costumes, you know, with the plastic mask and the, the like plastic smock thing. But um, those can do pretty well on Etsy, believe it or not. And so I beelined for it, um, but there's a woman over there already looking at the holiday stuff, the Halloween stuff, and she picked that up and I was kind of waiting for her to put it down because uh, she's kind of like looking at it and she definitely wasn't sure about it. And then it was almost like she was looking at the size on it, which if you're buying it to resell, you don't care about the size. So I'm thinking she was like maybe buying it for grandkids who don't know who shirt tails are because uh, it's way before their time, but uh, that's just my guess. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't get the Shirt Tails costume, but I got a lot of other cool stuff, so I'm going to show you what I picked up. Uh, by the way, I spent exactly $32.50 at this sale, so I'll show you what that bought. Well, like I said, I went through the toys and games. I did pick up a single sealed board game. It's not even a really great one. It's Trivial Pursuit, the DVD SNL, aka Saturday Night Live edition. It was $3, as you can see the price tag there and um, it's gonna go up to Amazon. This was the first thing I picked up when I walked in. I just happened to see it as I went, walked in. It was a dollar. I don't know if it's, you know, has value, but it does look older, um, you know, vintage bar sign type thing. Um, so I think I should be able to sell that, um, probably on Etsy, if not eBay. This is the one thing I did pick up over in the Halloween section. This was priced at a dollar. Um, it's a vintage mask um, in the shape of a cat there, cat's eyes. I also picked up supplies at this sale. They had a bunch of these. These are just folding, uh, fold up gift boxes. Um, they're about yay big. Um, so sometimes that's good if you have something that you need to like double box. You obviously can't mail in these, but it's a nice little gift box size thing. Anyway, there's this whole stack of them for 75 cents, so I figured that was a good deal. Uh, never know when you might need them and can use them. Okay, I got two of these. I don't know where the other one is, but they're exactly the same. They're doves, they're painted, they're green with this cool floral design on them. Um, looks to be hand painted. Anyway, uh, they were a dollar each and I got two of them. I will sell them on Etsy. I thought these were cute. I got a set of three trivets with an Amish, Pennsylvania Dutch kind of theme. They were 50 cents a piece. I've heard this saying before, kiss and don't last, cookery do. Love is blind, the neighbors aren't. And uh, God bless our mortgaged home. So all pretty funny. I think I will sell them as a set, try to sell all three together. Um, they're not in perfect condition. Like this one has a little chip on the side there, but um, they are pretty cute, and uh, I think someone might buy them. This is to go on Amazon. It's a sealed up package of print your own postcards from Avery, and that was $2. And this was $0.25. Cents. Um, this is a set of coasters. They're actually like disposable coasters. They're little foil ones, um, and they are in different colors, um, bright primary colors there. And those are going to go on Etsy. This is just a funny license plate. Uh, let me tell you about my grandchildren. Um, like a vanity plate if you live in a state like I do in Pennsylvania where you don't have to put a license plate on the front of your car. Uh, you can put it on your car. You can hang it on your wall. It is older. Um, it had the date on it. I think it was 1979. So um, I'll see if, uh, if anyone wants to buy it on Etsy. I, got, I paid 50 cents for it, so that's not bad. These were $2, but I couldn't pass them up. Uh, they're an old set of pinking shears. Um, these are hard to come by nowadays, and these are 
very well made. Um, I will test them out to see how well they actually cut, but really nice condition and in the original box, so I think I should be able to sell them on Etsy. I have a feeling somebody will be looking for them because Etsy is also, uh, there's a lot of crafters on Etsy and you need things like that. Now, this is something I need your, your help with. I don't know what this is. Um, I only paid 50 cents for it. It is um, it's porcelain or ceramic and it's obviously meant to hold something. I just don't know what. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. It's got a pretty design on it, so it looks like maybe it was made for a lady. There is printing on the bottom, but it says Hausmann, something in German, and it was made in West Germany. Um, so it's definitely vintage. This is another item I got for Etsy. Um, it is a vintage souvenir fan, one of these plastic ones I needed today because it's pretty hot and steamy in here. And I had to shut off my fan to film this video because it makes too much noise. This one's a souvenir from Williamsburg, Virginia. So. Um, yeah, um, it's not super valuable, but I can make some money on Etsy with it. This was something I decided to pick up. I don't know if there's really any value in it. it dates from 1986. It's a sealed up package, which is great because um, they're new, but I kind of would love to see what they look like. Um, they're Christmas cards, so they're playing cards, and it's standard poker size playing cards. Um, and it has four suits, but instead of the normal playing card suits, well, there's a reindeer suit, a snowman suit, an elf suit, and a Christmas tree suit. But I have no idea what they look like. Um, so I'm going to maybe do a little research, see if I can find somewhere on the internet that there's a picture of these and borrow that to use for my listing because I don't really want to open it since it is a new sealed up set. This was nice because it's also in the box and it looks like it was never used. It's one of those key wallets, one of those key holders, which you can't really find anymore. Um, and this is beautiful condition. Gardner, Princess Gardner is the uh, the brand, a nice bright red color. So um, I paid two dollars for it, but I know I'll be able to sell it on Etsy. Here's my other dove. I got this bear. He's really cute. I don't know anything about him. He was priced at three dollars, which is kind of high for a bear, stuffed bear at a rummage sale. He does have his tag on here. Rakes Bears is the brand, the, the line. Uh, it's made by Applause. And for some reason I saw something that I think it's from like the 80s. Yeah, on the tag here it says 1985. I've never seen one like this before. He's got like a wooden face, which I thought was really kind of cool. And I'll try and sell them on Etsy. Um, I always look at the stuffed animals at rummage sales because they tend not to throw them out. You know, thrift stores and places like that, if they get old stuffed animals, they throw them out and then they just keep the beady babies, which aren't really valuable, but that's what they do. And so I have found some really valuable stuffed animals at rummage sales because you find something from like the 1920s or something in a box and it's like 25 cents. This meanwhile was $3, but um, I think I can sell them on Etsy for money. He's really cute. And then this was actually in with the stuffed animals, even though it's not really a stuffed animals. A stuffed animal, it's four dollars. This is one of those um, Annalee, Annalee whatever. Um, she makes all this cute people. Let me take them out of here. Um, but yeah, you can see the painted face there. Um, oh, right there. Uh, so very cute, very cute deer. And uh, that I should have no problem selling on Etsy, even though it was four dollars. Um, I'll be able to sell it for more than that. That's another thing that was four dollars. And again, I was like, that's kind of high at a rummage sale. But um, I've sold. I think a couple of these before. These are to go on your wall. It's made of metal and uh, it's nice for decorating like a boy's room or something. He's really into, you know, planes and trains and automobiles. And it's a nice vintage biplane there. Um, is there a maker on it? I, I don't know. Home Co. Anyway, the date on it is 1975. It's a good year. I got two of these. They're new and sealed to go on Amazon. They're just little lights. Um, Sylvania is the brand. They were a dollar a piece. Um, Originally sold for $8.99 a piece at Linens and Things. Remember Linens and Things? I picked up this. This is a new sealed set of two Sony VHSC blank tapes. Uh, it's 25 cents. Couldn't beat that. Um, we'll sell on Amazon. I'm not sure if it was going to for enough to send it in FBA or if I'll just do it Merchant Fulfilled, but um, yeah, I couldn't pass up that deal. Then if I'm not mistaken, I think everything else I got was a book, but um, I'll go through and see. Um, I did get this one. This one's going for quite a bit of money. Spain. This is kind of a cool book. All about paint by numbers and 
you know, the whole paint by number industry and, and the history of paint by number paintings and stuff. And uh, I just thought that was pretty cool and pretty interesting. 25 cent book and I will make money selling it on Amazon. And this was a little different book. Uh, so Signs of the Times. Um, so like an art book that's all just different signs, a lot of pub signs, um, a lot of local signs. I, so I just saw Lehigh Valley. But anyway, pretty cool. This I actually bought for myself. I just thought this was a really nice set. It's Vanity Fair, but nice uh, slipcase, uh, fancy books. I actually have, um, I don't, I don't know who the publisher is on this, but I have a War and Peace set that's like this too. I bought this to sell women's hats. And again, um, there must have been somebody who was into art and fashion because there's a lot of these type of books there. And I don't know how much this one was. I don't I don't know if they had a standard rate for the books or what. And, and again, this is another one that's mostly pictures, 500 teapots, and it's all just pictures of teapots. And I think, yeah, that is everything that I picked up at the sale. So pretty even mixture, I would say, of Amazon and Etsy stuff. Sometime down the road, I will make a thrift haul follow-up. I, I used to make these videos, the haul follow-up videos, like two months after I uploaded my haul video. And I've fallen really far behind, so I'm almost up to like four months behind now. But um, I'll try to catch up. I mean, three months is, is okay, but... but four months is way too long. But I will get a haul follow-up video out to you at some point and show you what I've actually made on the stuff that I purchased. And uh, so, in the meantime, uh, good luck finding treasures out there. Maybe you can find a Halloween costume and not get, uh, get beat out. I found a lot of good stuff, so I'm not going to complain. It was just one little item, and it's not that valuable. I was just like, oh, I saw it, and I just didn't get there in time. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with what I did pick up. So uh, see you guys again soon and uh, happy selling everyone.